guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're inside of Gmail and I'm going to be showing you how to work with Gmail labels and filters. So as you see here, I have a label set up for YouTube. Any email that is sent to me from YouTube, like someone commented on a video, someone subscribed to me on YouTube, it has a label here that says YouTube. It's got a red background. In order to set up labels and to set up filters, you will need to go over here to the upper right hand corner where you see the cog wheel. Click on that, go down to settings. Once you are under settings, you will see the second one over that says labels. Under labels, you can add, show, hide, edit any kind of labels that you may have already added. In order to add a label, you go down to the bottom here to where you see create new label. So we're going to create a new label and then you can title this label whatever you want to. So let's title this one at test, T-E-S-T. -E you can also nest this label under another category. So let's say I wanted to have subscribe categories under if someone subscribed to me on YouTube and comment categories. I could create those here and then nest those all under one label which would be titled YouTube. So we're going to create a label called test and then go ahead and do that now. If you go there you can see it here at the bottom the one we just created is called test. You can show that label, you can hide it and then you can show if the email messages inside of it are unread. Uh, you can actually go over here and remove it or edit it by clicking edit there. You can rename it or nest it under something else. Let's click out of that. You can also go over here to the left hand side of your Gmail box here. Scroll down and you will see all of your labels to the left here underneath the labels section. You can actually go over here, click that down arrow and actually change the background color of that label which I really like because it stands out and it lets you know hey this is in this label so we can go ahead and change that to a nice light green color color. Uh, and then if you want to see messages that are just in that specific label, you can click on that label and boom, only those labels are shown. You know, that emails within that label is shown. Go back to our inbox here. Now let's go ahead and set up a filter. Click on the little cog wheel one more time over here, the settings, go down to settings, click on that. Look over in the middle of the screen and you'll see an option that says filters. Click on that now. I'm going to go ahead and take you into the one that I have set up for my YouTube label. Let's go ahead and edit that now. So what you can do is you can say I want to filter emails that are from a specific email address or to a email address or that has a subject that has this subject or has these specific words or doesn't have these specific words and you can even filter them if they have or do not have a attachment. So this here I've set up to if an email is coming from no reply at youtube.com which is where all of my YouTube notification emails come from then it will automatically go into my YouTube filter. Go ahead and click the blue continue link in the bottom right hand corner. On the next page, you are able to say, this is what I want you to do with it. You can either skip it, so this can allow you to avoid any of those emails. You can mark it as read immediately or star it for me to come back to later. later. Or you can apply this specific label, which is what I did. I applied it to the label YouTube. I can actually click on that down arrow and change it to that label we just created, test, but I am not going to do that. You can forward it to another email address. You can delete it completely and you can say, listen, never send anything with this filter to the spam filter. This will save you a lot of time that way. And then you can always or never mark it as important. And then you can also apply this filter to any of the matching conversations that are already in your in inbox by clicking that checkbox there. And then you go here. Mine says update filter, but if it's a new filter, it will say create filter. Click on that there and it will automatically create you that new filter. Again, go over to your settings tab over here in the right hand corner. Go to filter and then go to create or edit. So if you want to create a new filter, you just go down here and create it down here. And if you want to edit or delete a filter, go over here to the right hand side of the page. Filters and labels are a great way to keep your inbox in Gmail condensed 
and at inbox zero at all times. It's also a great organizational tool if you're a business and need to understand where all of your emails are for a specific uh, whatever it may be like if you're a real estate agent for a specific listing or house or in my case for youtube videos great way to organize your inbox that's how you work with filters and or labels i hope this video helped if by any chance you have any questions on working with filters and labels in gmail put it in the comment box below i always respond at some point in time that way i can help you out why don't you help me out by clicking the thumbs up button below this video if it helped you. Subscribe to my channel for more great content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.